How to write a reference data for Canadian immigration. To be eligible for most Canadian economic immigration programs, you need to have some work experience. For many streams, that work experience needs to be skilled, meaning classified as NOC skill level 0A or B. So how do you prove that you have the right kind of work experience? In this video, I'm going to share the exact details of preparing reference data for your Canadian immigration file that you needed to verify your work experience on your immigration journey to Canada. Thanks for watching this video. If this is your first time visiting this channel, I am Ahmad Zatawakali and this is Persia Global. Before giving you more details of writing a good reference letter, I also recommend you to see another video of this channel with the link below this video on how does Canada verify your work experience for immigration. This video will also help you to get a, a very great insight into your work experience for Canadian immigration processing. First off, uh, to write a good reference letter, you need to find the National Occupational Classification or NOC codes associated with your past possessions. And that could be a little more complicated than it sounds, so subscribe to our channel and click on notification bell to stay updated for new videos. In the next video, I will share some uh, guidelines to choosing the right NOC code for Canadian immigration. So uh, once you have found the right NOC codes, you need to prove that you are right uh, by providing a letter of reference for each possession. Uh, what is a letter of reference? To be clear, a letter of reference for Canadian immigration is different from the kind of reference that uh, you might use when you're applying for a job. Instead of recommending you as an employee, your letter of reference needs to verify that you worked for an employer for the amount of time you claim to and that your possession matches the NAC code you have chosen. The letters of reference that you uh, provide uh, let the visa officer reviewing your application calculate how much your work experience have been so far. Since work experience is such an important factor for most economic immigration programs, the quality of your letter of reference can have a huge impact on your application. If the visa officer is not convinced that your letter of reference is genuine or if it is missing some information, the officer needs to assess the validity of your experience, they may reject or uh, refuse your application altogether. Here is an immigration tip I'd like to share it with you. If you have had multiple possessions within the same company, try to get the company to issue separate letters for each possession. If you cover multiple possessions in one letter, make sure the person writing it breaks up each period of employment. So what is the ideal letter of reference? How your letters of reference are formatted can make a big difference the success of your file and the letter needs to be formal and the more information it includes about the company issuing it, the better. Ideal letter of reference should be written on the company's letterhead, be signed by the responsible officer or supervisor and have the responsible officer or supervisor names and job title printed beneath the signature. And also it should include the company's contact information information be stamped out with the company's official seal if applicable of course and if possible have the business card of the person signing it attached. If your letters of reference do not have these things it might be a red flag to the visa officer that the employee showing the letter is not genuine. Bear it in your mind that uh, there are also specific things that an ideal letter of reference should include, like your official job title, the dates of your employment, and your salary per week, also your average hours per week. Another thing is a detailed list of your employment duties. But the most important part of your letter of reference is the detailed list of your employment duties. 
It has to include your daily tasks and responsibilities and should make up most of the content of the letter. Remember the visa officer is not necessarily familiar with your industry, so make sure you avoid industry specific abbreviations and terms. Your duties should be listed clearly and concisely. The list of uh, employment duties is how the visa officer confirms that you have chosen an appropriate NOT code. Every NOT code has an associated lead statement and list of duties. It doesn't matter if your job uh, uh, title doesn't match up with a job title associated with your NOT codes. Of course, as long as your employment duties matches the lead statement and duties. That said, it is suspicious if your letter of reference matches the NOC description exactly. The visa officer might believe that your letter of reference was created for the purpose of matching NOC rather than being an actual record of your work experience. In that case, the letter is considered self-serving or fraudulently obtained for immigration purposes and not eligible for processing. So what if I cannot get a letter of reference? A letter of reference is by far the best way to prove your work experience. But if for a legitimate reason you are not able to get a letter of reference, then you can try to convince the visa officer with supplementary documentation. Some examples include um, employment contracts or promotional letters or pay stops, pictures of you at work or sworn declaration from previous colleagues. You should also uh, include a signed letter of explanation describing why you are not able to provide a letter of reference. To know how to write a letter of explanation or LOE, watch another video of this channel on how to write an LOE with a link below this video. At the end of the day though, even if you have a perfect letter of reference, the final decision comes down to the visa officer. Whatever documentation you use, uh, the goal is to put uh, together a template and through record of your employment to convince the visa officer that your work experience is genuine. In general, the most information you include, uh, the more credible it will be to the visa officer and the better your chance of being accepted. By subscribing and watching other videos of this channel related to immigration to Canada, you can ensure that your letters of reference and other employment documentation meet Canadian immigration standards. At Perchia Global, we are with you every step of the way. We don't just prepare our clients' immigration file, we prepare our clients for the new life in Canada too. Our free online assessment can help you discover all your options to move to Canada permanently. Thank you for your support and likes and being a subscriber of Persia Global Channel. We value your confidence in our content and videos and sincerely appreciate your time. Hope we met your expectations via the videos of the channel. Please comment and let us know about any specific content that could meet your immigration or relocation case. Make sure you don't miss out on other valuable videos related to immigration, study abroad and visa acquisition. In this channel, I address many tips and points you can learn from our years of experience to reassure you are doing right or submitting the right documents. To get more, get started by subscribing to our channel from today or contact us to use our services at persiaglobal.net slash contact. Don't forget to hit notification bell and like button below this video. This is Amar Zatavakoli for Persia Global. May God bless you abundantly on your immigration and relocation journey. As always, pin all your hopes always on God. You will never be pinned down by man. I'll see you in the next videos.